my people, finally, finally, the worst has happened. <laughs> they're not asking, in short, make I talk, the one my people go here. The ones don't happen, they don't say, make Nigerians now come pray for Bola Ahmed Tunumbu. <laughs> no be smart, you know. Hey, no be to thief the king trumpet. Now, where you won't stay for the village, blow the trumpet where people no go here. My people, no be smart, you know. They say no be the intention where they get for Nigeria be this. My people are back. Um, where the Senate president, Akwabio, is good at sending prayers to people's e email boxes. Making come, come lead the prayer. They don't say, Kaki no be led. Guys, wanna watch the video. Let me share and leave your comment. Hey, <laughs> oh, is mm. Let me say this. Mr. President has told me to tell you that what we are doing, we are not doing you a favor. You are entitled to it. It is our responsibility to do it. So, we are not doing anything that is extraordinary. Because you remember, when Mr. President was campaigning, he was campaigning on the mandate of renewed uh, hope. And that is why I thank all the council chairmen who have, in spite of different political parties, we have all agreed to work together to make our people to benefit. Because party is a vehicle that converts you to where you want to go to. When you get there, you come down. And you now talk about governance. So if we don't work together, the people will suffer. And why would we allow people to suffer? And I also want to tell you, yes, so many people, things may not be as we want it now. But let me assure you, all they are seeing today is a temporary thing. I can assure you very well that the problems we are facing will be a thing of the past sooner. It's just that all of our craving indulgence is our patience. You know, when things have been bad, it takes time to heal. It takes time to recover. And so government will bring policies that will make you to recover, but sometimes may be affecting you. I remember when I was governor of River State, I had to award to do three flyovers at the same time. So many people were complaining. How can you do three flyovers at the same time? You want all our businesses to collapse? You want us to die? You know you cannot finish this thing. I laughed. Because I believe, and because I know I was committed to serving the people. So within eight months, one year, we completed the three flyovers. The same people who were complaining, we are now saying, oh, we well, thank God. This has been done. Our, our businesses will not be trapped. But they were right. Because before, government had been abandoning projects. And that had led to their own economic activity coming so low. And so they didn't have belief that this can be done. Just like never had belief that the government will come and to say this Abori road must be done. The government will come that Karimo, Guagua, Dede, and Yudu road will be done. And you are seeing it now. Just, I pray all you want, all we will pray for you is to please help us pray so that the president will continue to have the good health, the wisdom to parallel the affairs of the country. It is not easy. I can tell you I will not assert myself where I know that things will not work. I will not do that. Because I know that because Mr. President means well for this country. And I know that everybody wants it today, tomorrow. It will come. But you have to pass through certain setbacks. That's what is going on now. All of us. Why do I come to see all of you? Governance is for who? I want to see how you feel. And I've seen how you feel. Look at just announcing that Karim Ogwagwa will be done. See how happy you are. That's what you talk about governance. What do the people want? And it's like, it was, it's like a consensus where you say, that's why I was asking you. Whether you agree, say yes. So agreement is a agreement. And let me tell you, nothing will stop us. All our appeal to the Senate Committee, Chairman, and the House Committee, Chairman, 
of the area councils to help us as our budget comes, please, please, expedite action to pass the budget so that we can immediately move in and do this work. We must show the difference. We must show that this government is committed to serving the people. And for me, having the opportunity to be the minister of FCT, I must not take it for granted. I must pay back to the people to say thank you for accepting me to be minister. And the only way I can thank you is by making sure I make you to be happy. I thank you very much. And on this note, I invite all of you to join us as to the glory of God who flag of this uh, Zubairo road. Thank you and God bless you.